Greetings, YouTube. Sometimes it just takes me a little while to get to a post. Um, I, as honored as I am for people to depend on me so much on YouTube that they'll literally scroll back through several days of videos and be like, Prof, you haven't touched on this. And it, it can be stressful because it's like, yeah, I know I haven't touched on it. I haven't had time. I haven't chosen the time. I, I just can't get to everything. But when I have put such a high bar for covering everything in subsequent videos, it makes it to where the expectation is that or I'm not doing my job, which, yes, it does sometimes feel like a job. But it, honestly, it's still a hobby. It's still a side hustle. It's still, you know, making 30 to 50 cents a video on average. If you put out 10 videos, maybe you'll make an extra five bucks a day. Maybe you'll get really lucky and make more like 25 bucks a day. But either way, it's, you know, a hobby. Don't try to pay rent off 25 bucks a day. Just, uh, just a pro option. Not in 2022. Maybe if it was like 1925, but then again, the internet didn't exist. With that being said, Alliance Quest Season 9.5 update is a big one because when you scroll all the way down to things starting at the map five redesign, which is where I want to start this video. It says we changed a lot, but we focused on a few things. We wanted to keep the feel of the old map. We mostly kept its shape, but made it symmetrical while changing the following, reducing the total number of paths in sections one and two. With reduction in paths, players now have access to more flex players to help out with an alliance member who may be struggling. Uh, for me, I'm in an alliance with just like a lot of, uh, I don't even know if you want to say higher up alliances because we're not like a top 300 alliance even. But you're going to deal with people who are in different time zones, is what I'm trying to say. And so sometimes it's just hard to get people to move at the same time. Now, they've made it easier for sure, but this helps even more with that because less total paths means more opportunities to back people up and give alliances that don't run full 10-player battle groups an opportunity to compete here. Section 8 has 8 paths reduced to 6. Section 2, 8 paths reduced to 6. Section 3, same as before. Total energy for map completion is 157 energy reduced to 132. So 25 fewer energy is substantial. Looks more like a map 3, map 4 now, right? Map 5 encounters, 112 encounters reduced to 97. Encounters sounds like something that you would take your partner to in like a swinger event. Just saying. Kind of, uh, kind of random. Uh, encounter consistency encounters should now feel more consistent with usually only two class types of individual lay nodes balancing on individual paths. Each path within a section should now feel more balanced to one another. Hidden node removal and buff updates is kind of cool. Removed hidden nodes. Some of the locations where hidden nodes used to be will now have a lo local node. You'll see a few more local nodes added between each section. And then buff consistency map four will only have a few buffs on its path. Uh, so. Part of the reason why I'm talking about this, and there is this helpful Google Sheet. Look at that. It looks like this bottom light, top heavy monstrosity. Not bad. I appreciate it. But the Map 6 redesign is why I'm focusing on this. Because those of you like myself, who've done all Map 5 for years might now have the inspiration to sprinkle in a little map six because it's going to feel a lot like the old map five because they followed a similar approach to the map six update old map keeping at some layout similar make it symmetrical with the reduction of paths players now have access to more flex pa uh, players to help out where our lines may be struggling so again sections one and two the eight paths are now reduced to six like in map five and the section three ten paths reduced to eight map six total energy is 143 instead of what we just covered in the map five, where the uh, total energy was 132. So instead of 132, it's now 143. 11 more energy for one newer map, that's, that's a small price to pay. And then uh, while we want map six to stand out, we also want to start prepping players for their next challenge, map seven. So they're trying to get players who are used to map six now to go to map seven. When I uh, played sports in high school, you might look at me and say, that guy played sports? What? I'm a three-point shootout champion. I beat over 500 people once in a three-point shootout contest at my college. Uh, and I love tennis. Tennis is the sport that I now play regularly and play, will play for the rest of my life, God willing. With that being said, when the state of New Mexico changed their high school rankings, everybody moved up a class. So if you were 3A, you were now 4A, 2A, 3A, 5A, 6A. 
And so in this sense, I think Kabam is trying to push the map five players to do map six, map six to do map seven, etc. Although map eight's probably still going to be map eight. Um, I think this is, and I know last time I, I talked about how I saw some things as pro player and some people disagreed, and I get why, especially when it comes to the loyalty changes for Alliance War Potions. But I do think because, in theory, the rewards should be better for doing map 6 more versus map 5, map 7 more versus map 6, we are going to see this in a positive light uh, in terms of overall Alliance quest rewards. Now, of course, if a bunch of Alliances move up and then you don't, you're going to finish in a worse placement, and therefore maybe your rewards will suffer. I don't know. But I do think that these map changes are some of the best we've seen in the last couple years, and I wanted to highlight them because my alliance is actually tempted to do probably not a whole week of map six from map five, but a couple days, like at the first couple days. And I, um, I'm actually cool with that, which I never thought I would be. So it takes these kind of changes to make me consider it. Kabam, thanks for the redesign. Sorry it's taken me a couple weeks to get to it, but hey, at least I did. And shout out to Alex for encouraging me on Twitter to change it as well.